Hello, how are you? It's been a long time since I posted. In this video I am going to build and paint a 1 to 72 scale model from Revel, an iconic plane of the Second World War, the US Corsair, F4UF. The kit is typical for Revel. It is marked as level 3, but this means it has only 65 parts. First, I began the assembly of the interior. The details are quite nice. All parts are glued with VMS products. I lost the footage of the aerograph painting of the interior somehow, but it was nothing special. The details of the interior I painted with Vallejo products. After a gloss varnish, Tomia X22 in this case, I decorate the cockpit with the decals from the box. The seatbelts were a little stubborn to set in place, but with patience I was able to resolve the task. For emphasizing the details, I was using Tommy a dark brown panel line accent, enamel wash. The fuselage fitting was very good, no gap filling was needed. After I glued the parts, I let the model cure for 24 hours or so. The wings and fuselage were fitting just fine, some minor gap filling with dissolved putty from Mr. Color did the magic. Then I started to cut off from the wing tips to make room for the position lights.
plan was to use CA glue, but it's too opaque for my taste, so, in the final, I was using UV resin and red and green inks to color it. It was the turn for the engine to be assembled and painted. Once again, the video footage was lust, but I can recall that I used black primer from Mr. Color, the Surface of 1500 and Vallejo Metal Color Aluminium. The fitting of the painted engine with the fuselage was smooth. For these parts, I used CA glue. There was one curiosity, the horizontal stabilizers are identical, not mirroring each other. First I thought that it was a mistake from Revel, but no, the plane actually has one type of horizontal stabilizer, which can be put on both sides. This was, for sure, a matter of reducing production costs. The masking of the canopy was easy and enjoyable. I use VMS liquid mask, but any type of liquid latex mask can be used. Close the interior, I needed to paint the front of the cockpit. After I painted the interior of the front part of the canopy with Hadika green interior, I peeled off the mask from the interior, then glued it to the fuselage with VMS Transpar Fix 6K. I decided to put all the accessories, doors and landing gear in place. It was easier to paint it this way, starting with the under part, it had a resting place on the landing gear until drying. The fact that the axle of the wheels of the landing gear paint was affected, was not a problem in the final. Before painting, I covered the engine intake and canopy, then I was priming the model with Mr. Color finishing surface of 1500 black. After priming, I observed some minor surface defects and I corrected them.
being a single color scheme, it is important to break the somewhat monotony of the surface and, choosing black for primer, I did pre-shading with Tamiya White. insisted on details, such as fuel caps, access panels and so on. Shading was complete, I began painting the model with Hadaka Lacquer Dark Sea Blue. Being so dark, it seems black at first glance, but you will see that it is not the case. transparent layers, careful not to completely cover the pre-shading. I was doing two or three passes until I was satisfied with the overall look.
see the bluish tint of the painted model. Stay tuned for the next and final part of the build. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and, if not, oh, well, you know what to do. And also, please subscribe and hit that bell button in order to be announced when I release the next videos. Cheers, see you next time.